Come on, come on, push, push, push! Branson, Florida at IMG. Been here for about two weeks now. Just came from uh, from Bahamas. Now we're gonna be doing uh, three full weeks of uh, off-season training here. So tight. So I've got these little Russian crepe looking like things. They're called aladushki. A little jam, a little sour cream. You know, very typical Russian. And I usually don't eat this, so. <laughs> My mom made it last night, so I'm having a little little dessert, you know, for breakfast. Yeah, I've been working hard, so maybe she she wanted to, you know, give me a little treat. I don't know. <laughs> it's got three bedrooms. It's really homey. I didn't uh, fold my bed this morning. I know I was a little lazy, but uh, in my defense, I got woken up for for anti-doping testing, so I was a little bit tired this morning. Good morning. What's up, sir? Ready to start? Yeah. Ah, oh, pressure's on, buddy. Yeah? Got the camera on. It's one year that we're working together. It's fun working with Dennis. I compare my job as like a kind of a relationship because we spend so much time together. You know, it, it's a good match. It's not just, you know, like a promising good player. He's very kind, he's very respectful. He has a lot of quality as, as a human being. We are doing like a passive mobilization. So it's kind of uh, the first warm up of the day. He just woke up, so all the joints or the muscles are like kind of cold in a way. So I'm waking up his body. It's gonna be a long day. So we want to make sure that his body works 100%. Best part about this is that I get to sleep then. The star. The star, the star is right. here. All right, I'm going right. back to bed, see you guys. <laughs> I just try to be myself, to be honest. And I found success being, you know, a lot more lighthearted. We get our work done, we do what needs to be done, and we're very focused. But at the same time, you try to throw in a few laughs. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> just keep it by your side. <laughs> so without enjoying the process of it, I think it becomes more challenging because at the end of the day, it's, it's a sport, it's fun. This is usually where people come to get some solid practice together. There's always good training, good resources, great weather. Hey Dennis, all good? Ready to shine? Yeah. Right in your face. Yeah, I know. That's it. I was like, where do I look? What's going on? It's the biking part of the warm up, getting started a little bit, getting ready, you know, moving my legs a little bit, and then uh, I'll start with Clement over there on the mat. Well, I've been with Clement for since I was probably 13, 14, so, so a while now. What impressed me uh, the most is really laid back. Like uh, when it's a big moment or something, he, he, he takes things with um, no, no pressure. Like before a big match, he, he acts the same before a big match than a regular practice. The impact I have. Coming harder, yeah? Yeah, boom. It's, of course, he's like a teenager. Sometimes he's not perfect. Like nobody's perfect. One, two, jump over, you sprint. Boom! I'm a little out of breath, but uh, I wouldn't say tired, no. You know, it got me a little bit activated, a little bit. Um, you know, it just got me, got me running, so uh, yeah, I feel better actually. In terms of him looking like he's going to be exhausted, he can handle it. I mean, especially being 19 like that, he's just, uh, I know I felt something on the back there. Are you good? What's going on? It's up, man. That's good, bro. How are you, man? You good? Yeah. Canadians taking over this. You know that, uh, you know, you know, <laughs> cut this. I've got a couple of my friends here. We haven't hung out that much, so like we're so busy. Besides that, yeah, we don't have that much time, you know, it's like busy days. 
Yeah, it sucks. I set those up because they're markers, so we have a little bit of a direction on where we're going. It just, yeah, get your feet going here. That's the way to drive those hands, that's it. I think it's super important for visually stimulating him like that. He learns very fast without me having to tell him too much when he sees something there. See, I love this ball, Dennis, when you create that space. Quicker hands, quicker hands. Out of the air, good, Dennis, much better. You can fire that elbow a little earlier, get into the ball. There. Here, let me just feed a couple balls here. Less is more for today. Keeping these sharp, these stimulated like this, so we can create the space in good timing like this, as opposed to not being in control of our thoughts, right? The round of 16, a highly anticipated match here in Montreal between Canadian team sensation, Denis Shapovalov. And one of the all-time greats, Rafael Nadal. And this is the ultimate test. My breakthrough moment in 2017 came in Rogers Cup. to one great performance. Beating Rafa, Del Potro, making semifinals of, uh, of that master event really shot me up the rankings. A couple weeks later, uh, you know, with the New York run, hitting fourth round, um, definitely helped with a lot of points and, and my confidence from there. I've just been, uh, been working hard to, to maintain that, uh, that ranking and my level and uh, just keep going forward, actually. In 2018, I think my results were, were really good actually. Um, I didn't have anything, you know, unbelievable, let's say, I didn't win any titles. Overall, I really progressed. My ranking also improved, which was a really big goal of mine, finishing 27 in the world. So, uh, it was really a big step forward for me, and uh, I hope that next year I can uh, just keep going forward. Shapo shines bright in Madrid as the 19 year old becomes the youngest ever player into the semi finals. You know, some people would mention that I had a really unsuccessful year, and I'm just sitting thinking here, you know, I'm 27 in the world, so like, what are you guys talking about? You know, I was 50 last year. There's always people that say, uh, you know, he should be winning titles, or he should be doing this and that, and, uh, you know, I try to tell them, listen guys, I'm, I'm only 19, you know, and everyone's going at their own speed, everyone goes at their own pace. He dominates the battle. It never got me down, you know, I've, I've always stayed motivated, positive, and uh, so has my team. It's a challenge for somebody so young to come and burst out onto the scene and now all of a sudden have so many expectations. It's inevitable, you know, it's like everybody's speaking. I think people can get lost in the expectations. So I think that's the challenging part for an athlete uh, and the team as well to make sure that, you know, you don't get sucked in. So I think that he's uh, done a great job at being able to back, you know, his sophomore year up with some incredible results and really proving to himself that he belongs there, you know? And I think that's a big challenge for, for somebody at his age. Lunchtime, refuel. We're going, yeah. Get ready yeah. for second practice. Should you take over? Well, yeah, who's <laughs> the star? Listen, stop there. Listen. Okay, follow me, please. Uh, See you guys. <laughs> John. Yeah. So basically, um, in the off season, I was in the studio with uh, with a couple artists, just kind of messing around. I've been writing music for about a year now, just a passion I kind of have, just just a hobby of mine. And uh, yeah, we we put some together. We went to the studio and. Uh, Came up with this song right here. Never think through it, I just go and name it. People always told me, shut the slow it down. It's just like kind of a creative kind of aspect I have within me, I guess. I feel like things come to me and, uh, you know, I'm always on the road, always things happening, and I just 
it's kind of a way for me to, to kind of express myself, so I'm always constantly writing lyrics. Yeah. One day, Mama told me some one day you'll see. Yeah. Mama told me yeah. some one day you'll Pretty. see. I love rap music, right? I, I love listening to Eminem, g -Z, J Z, these guys, so, you know, I really, I really look up to them. Now you're gonna do your little uh, skipping routine. One contact back and forth, single line to single line. We do a bit uh, shorter version of the warm up. I shorten the mobility work and the um, activation, I still do a bit. But I, I do a longer on um, movements and stuff. Inside out, down the line, go. Good, D. Stronger legs, really snap that hand. Let the hand do the work. There, like this, perfect. Get at the ball, get at the snap earlier. There, you just gotta let it go earlier. This is where you gotta dig deep, I think, and especially towards the end of the week. This is where the results will kind of pay off. But for now, it's like trying to find ways to dig the shots out when you're that much more tired. And that's the whole point of like me pushing him really to the, to the limits, off to the side, you know, after a morning practice and he's up 6 a.m. How do you feel? Good. It's gearing towards next season, looking forward to, you know, what's to come and just understanding that's the process. Oh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Did you get that? The jumping? Yeah. Oh, he got it. Definitely a little bit tired, but uh, it's it's off season. It's, that's what it is. Now we have some intervals, some fitness to do. Hopefully, I'm not too dead to do it. It's too tough. <laughs> it's too tough to put this on. 15 seconds on, 15 off, okay. 10 times. Take a rest. 10 times. Yeah. Three, three sets. Yeah. We see, we see with uh, we see with two. How you feel? I definitely don't get excited for fitness. Uh, it's not something you know I always look forward to, especially after four hours of, uh, of court time. But uh, yeah, sometimes that's why you have a team to push you. What I can deal with you, I give you. No, don't step back. You know, I do this. Stay, stay with the plan. He, he always been uh, guys like he always say, oh, I don't do it. Uh, but he always, at the end of the day, he always do the, he always put the work. <laughs> We just want his heart rate to go as high as possible in these 15 seconds, and then he has 15 second rest where like he has to drop. So what we are training is like his capacity of recover after like a very intense performance. Ready, three, two, one. Training started. <laughs> Just between each, um, just try to breathe to bring your heart rate low as you can. That's okay. Three, two, one. Where's his heart rate? 175. Yeah, yeah. last year was much higher when you were doing this same type of thing. Yeah, but I don't think he's moving me as much. Rob, you can move me more. Come, push, push! That's one. Come on, come on, push, 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 push. Push D, that's it. Push, cut it, cut it, cut it. Yes, yes. Really strive for those feet, okay, on that back end. You're doing a good job, keep it up. Come on, go, go. There, that's it, that's it. Like the forehand, you're doing a much better job. Especially these last ones, they're so important, okay? 
go. Stay explosive. Quality, quality, quality in the hands, in the hands, in the hands, in the hands, in the hands. In the hands. Good work, buddy. Good work. Yeah, that's good. Good, good, good. That was quality, bro. What pushes you at this time of the night when you've been battling all day? It's a good question. <laughs> just want to be the best. When I get tired, just think, you know, I want to, want to be lifting trophies next year. So, and helps me get through one more ball, one more, one more set. It's brutal. It's it's tough. But also, like with with the whole day, it's uh, it's tough. So I'm feeling it, but that's what it is. I think mentally, I'm pretty exhausted from the long day, but uh, physically too. You know, put in two good practice sessions in, so kind of feeling the burn on my legs, especially after like the third or fourth set. So um, combination, but uh, yeah, just pushing through it. Obviously, the, the goal is big picture, you know, number one, winning major titles and uh, stuff like this. Obviously, it's, uh, it's everyone's goal. Definitely some short-term stuff, especially in the off-season. I think my tennis is in a, in a good spot right now. I feel like I'm really getting better. In terms of not, not so much performance goals, but things I want to improve on, like my footwork, my, my returns, my net game, you know, stuff like this that I think I could really bring, you know, into a new level for, for the new year. It's over. It's over. Vince Carter, baby. That's a wrap. Started at 6 a.m., about 7 p.m. now. Gonna head home, have dinner, and uh, relax and get ready for tomorrow. <laughs>